Well, it seems like Jay-Z has got hit with a major lawsuit involving an alleged rape of a 13-year-old from back in 2000 involving him and Diddy. And since then, Jay-Z issued his official statement on the whole matter, claiming that this is nothing more than a big old blackmail attempt from a lawyer known as Tony Busby, which we'll get into in a minute, saying in an official statement that he would not give any red cent to the lawyer or to the firm representing the alleged victim. He even implored Mr. Busby to file a criminal complaint instead of a civil one. He even, know, he even noted he did a little bit of research on to Mr. Busby. He also went on to say how his family will be affected by this, most notably Beyonce and the kids. And it seems like he's going to fight this all the way to the bitter end which this prompted a response from Tony Busby himself regarding the Jay-Z case and its efforts to silence my clients. Mr. Carter previously denied being the one who sued me and my firm. He filed his frivolous case under a pseudonym. What he fails to say is in his recent statement is my firm sent his lawyer a demand letter on behalf of an alleged victim and that victim never demanded a penny from him. Instead, she only started confidential mediation. Since I sent the letter on her behalf, Mr. Carter has not only sued me, but has tried to bully and harass me and this plaintiff. His conduct has had the opposite impact. She is emboldened. I'm so very proud of her resolve. As far as the allegations in the complaint filed, we will let the filing speak for itself and will litigate the facts in court not in the media. Now, people out there are a little bit unfamiliar with Mr. Busby. This is the same guy who tried to prosecute Deshaun Watson. Now, granted, it did damage his reputation quite a bit. Now, as far as the allegations go themselves, I am going to take the stance of until Jay-Z gets arrested in cuffs and is officially charged and there's raids conducted, then I'm not going to believe it because Jay-Z arguably has a lot more to lose than somebody like Diddy ever had. I mean, granted, both of them are billionaires in their own right. But if you ask me who's the more known person, it's Jay-Z. Because we know how serious these accusations are and how much they could ruin Jay-Z's career. Now, granted, if he is arrested and charged, I do want them to throw the whole book at him. And I would like to make a bold prediction if that is the case. Beyonce may end up divorcing his ass if that happens. Because she's going to look at it and be like, look, I got my career to think about. And people could argue that's wrong. You're supposed to sit by your man, blah, blah, blah. But that could drastically tank her career. And not only that, but it could harm any chance of any of their kids wanting to succeed in life all because of him. So if it is the case and he does get arrested and charged and that way she ain't got to worry about losing anything from a business front and people also are going to try to drag Beyonce through the mud and say girl you got to speak on this when really she don't all she got to do is just simply block Diddy unfollow him which I'm pretty sure she's already been done and we already see the narratives being spun oh it must be true because Jay-Z responded to it very quickly and if he had of waited or drug his feet people would have said the same exact thing so he really would have been in a pickle either way and i'm pretty sure there's going to be people that's going to automatically believe this because of jay-z's association with diddy and him alone if they never were friends i promise you nobody would believe this whole lawsuit one bit but because diddy got locked up for a lot of shit that he's done people have been trying to uh, attach Jay-Z's name to Diddy in the sense of, oh, well, if his best friend did it, then he must did it. You can have a best friend that you didn't know was into some weird shit. You obviously don't condone the shit at all, and you just distance yourself from him. Anybody that tries to say, oh, well, because he did it, then that must mean you did it too. No. And again, you got to understand these people are up billions of dollars. Why do I have to issue a public statement about anything when I could just follow when i can just unfollow and block a person and people got their narrative right there and i understand there have been allegations against jay-z in the past going back years and years but they never resulted in anything he never got charged he never got arrested so to me it's like i can't sit there and go with the court of public opinion because at the end of the day the court of public opinion doesn't hold any weight compared to the court of actual law 
the, you know, the thing that approve if somebody's guilty or if they'll get locked up forever. Now, sure, people can have their own conspiracy theories. If it was to go as far as a trial, let's say, then they would say, well, if he's found guilty, then the system is rigged against Jay-Z. If he's found innocent, the system is rigged against victims. You're not gonna be able to win for losing in this case. And besides, if this is even remotely true, not only will I be shocked, but you ought to give the key of every major city in America to Cat freaking Williams. Because how the hell did he even have a hunch and know all this information? See, Cat Williams is the type of guy that will know all the dirt on somebody, but will wait until the right time to spill the tea. But I think everybody should just let this whole thing play out in court. Let this get to the point where Jay-Z's brought up on charges. He's arrested if this is true. But until then, I don't think people should run with the court of public opinion. Because the court of public opinion, at the end of the day, does not hold the weight that y'all think it does. With that being said, y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.